patrocinado por el Ron El Dorado, que aquí tienen todos los productos. Y contamos además con la oportunidad que está el maestro Ronero de la destilería que nos va a dar una explicación de los productos y la historia de la marca como tal. Esto va a tardar unos 20 minutos y después comenzamos con la competencia. Okay. Gracias. Buenos días. I'm afraid that's the extent of my Spanish this afternoon. All right. all right, so it's a pleasure to be here from El Dorado, coming all the way from South America. Just five short hours. I know it seems like a very far way to come from, but it's practically the same as going from here to California. So here in Miami for I think my third time, and first time being here at a cocktail competition. So I get to see some of the best of the bar train I'm really looking forward to. Give it up to the competitors today. Of course, El Dorado rums are known for being the finest crafted East rums, and that's very much in line with the finest craftsmen that we're here to see, to celebrate, and to really award at the end of this uh, evening's program. Um, to tell you first a bit about El Dorado, though, um, I'm happy to be in a place that has so much history and heritage and culture, because that's very much what Guyana is like. Um, at El Dorado, we like to see ourselves as being purveyors of our history, all of our history. Unlike most of the islands uh, in that part of the world, we actually have a very varied history because of the very many different uh, European powers that have once settled in the territory. Starting first with the French, who lasted just for two years, uh, the Dutch, who came next and lasted for quite a long period of time. Uh, intermittently, there was a Spanish presence, so, uh, but we do not speak Spanish because the Spanish, like the French, did not stick around for very long. The ones who did stay the longest were the British who came after them all and who conquered the territory. Uh, so whereas uh, we were first settled by the Dutch in 1616, by 1830 we were completely a British colony. At El Dorado, we capture all of those heritage in one property. Bye -bye. We have stills dating back to 1732, stills are, that are one of a kind, stills that no one else in the world use for rum production today. To give you a bit of a tease, we have a double wooden pot still that basically does a double distillation and makes a one-of-a-kind spirit. And because we're relocated just north of the, of, the, of the Amazon, there are lots of tropical hardwoods. We are able to benefit from the hardest of them all, a species called green heart. That not only allows us to build these stills with incredible longevity, but it gives the flavor of the rum a truly unique expression. So we have wooden pot stills, we have wooden column stills, another significant feature in our heritage. Uh, it makes a one-of-a-kind spirit, lots of fruit flavors, but with lots of body as well. In total, the nine heritage stills we have on our property make over two dozen styles of rum, covering a very wide range. So, rums that perhaps can mirror the Spanish style, a bit lighter with some flavor, some esters, so medium body rums with lots of fruity and floral flavors, you know, very much reminiscent of the sugar cane plant. Guyana, of course, was founded on sugar production, and so everything that we do is built upon the sugar heritage, and that character shines all the way through our rums. El Dorado is today a protected, uh, or falls under the protected appellation of Demerara rums. Uh, much like cognac and bourbon uh, and those protected rums or protected spirit classes. And so the question is, why protection and what's special about it? I like to distill that into four Ps. I've told you a bit about the history and that history is interesting because it redounds to four different characteristics, four different features essentially that have maintained that reputation, that history, and all that goes with it. The first is that the very founding of the territory, Guyana, and in fact the coast of the country 
was established by the Dutch when they first landed in 1614. Uh, they basically reclaimed land from the ocean, readjust on the northern end of South America. Uh, so that gives us a lot of advantages. While there is access to both the Caribbean Sea as well as the uh, South American continent, being just on that northern coast gives us the best of both worlds because it's that perfect spot where the soil is rich, where the air is very salty, but also where there are lots of natural uh, wild yeast and other species that make our fermentation process extremely, extremely rich. The result of that is a very particular terroir that goes in the Demerara rums. Rums that are rich in flavors and rums that carry very uh, strong thumbprint of the environment. Lots of minerality, lots of flavors, quality surpassing any other. But it goes beyond that. The people, because all of the peoples in Guyana, and we have peoples of six different origins, because they all came to Guyana because of sugar, it has therefore played a very central role in our culture and in our sense of identity. You can therefore imagine that the rum industry is able to draw people from very different backgrounds who have very long tenures. The result of that is the repetition of the Mariah rum has been maintained because of being able to be passed from generation to generation. That special knowledge of how to make the rums, how to preserve the quality. All right, so when I talk about the history and the heritage and the culture, that sort of well capsulates all coming through the very uh, varied peoples that still occupy Guyana to present day. Coming from as far as Asia, China, to different parts of Europe, from as far north as France, to as far south as the Madeira Islands, and of course, Indians and further south in Africa. There is a third reason why the rums are special, and that is El Dorado rums implies a very traditional process of rum making. From the very earth from which the cane is grown to the manner in which the molasses is distilled, fermented and then distilled. In our case, we rely on flavors being produced directly in fermentation and being extracted directly in distillation. There is no need to add flavors uh, afterwards. As master distiller, one of my favorite things to do is to have visitors to our facility come and taste the rums hot, fresh off the stills, and discover that the rum, though light, can still have rich, supple flavors with very specific characters. Or to take them across to our barrel warehouse and have them sample the rums fresh from the barrels and to find that, wow, there's no corn, there's lots of flavor. Actually, much more flavors than just wood or oak. That's because the distillate starts off extremely rich. The other key feature of where we're located is that we are just above the equator. So apart from being tropical, we have the advantage of being equatorial as well. So the aging process, you might notice I'm sweating. That's the natural reaction of me to humidity. Because in Guyana, it is so hot and humid year round because of the equatorial climate. That's good and bad. It's bad because the angel share is huge, but it's good because to compensate for that, the rum is extremely, extremely well accelerated in its maturation. Finally, Eldorado rums preserve uh, the, I should say, the history because in every aspect of our presentation of the product, we try to redound to our heritage. From the very shape of the very iconic uh, El Dorado flask, which was actually a design based on the Dutch bottle. Back in the day when the Dutch still occupied the territory before the British, they of course transported the rums in Dutch bottles. And we today have come up with our unique design that very much represents that heritage. All told, in every bottle of El Dorado, there is character, there's history, there's heritage. There's lots of love, there's lots of toil, and there's lots of care and warmth that goes into every bottle. And so to be here today, to be associated with this cocktail competition, we are truly celebrating the best with the best. This is the finest rums, and to be part of the competition, we are extremely excited. Of course, 
the bar trade knows that you guys are the first line of interaction with the consumers. They only know good rums by your recommendation. And so to be here to be part of the competition to identify the best of the best and to finally have, uh, I believe, won the, the top winning prize is to have a placement on the menu. That is uh, an accolade beyond any we can imagine. So I've said a lot. The atmosphere here, I think, is extremely cordial. I love it. I think the crowd is seeming to be building up with a nice joviality. And the only thing that's missing is the rum. So without further ado, I'd like to get the show on the road. And let's have some good cocktails. Thank you all very much.